Start of the second half, James Madison and Saginaw Valley have switched sides. That looked like, nope, not a hit. James Madison appears to have won the rush again. The light up sneakers are a nice touch. Mr. Gromer is a bold man to wear such sneakers. Saginaw Valley with a defensive structure on the side. An excellent advantage of Mr. Ford tying his shoe. He has no idea. Clearly the most important part of the game going on. Nothing is happening. The tension is thick. All of a sudden, several balls fly. No one is hit. James Madison now has the wall to aim at. There are a few positions that are less pleasant to have than dodgeball than stuck on a back line with James Madison throwing at your wall in the head. Neither one of them are particularly good outcomes because if it hits your head, you're, you're out and you probably don't feel great. And with the wall, there's a real chance that James Madison will get the ball back. But Saginaw Valley has always been one of the best defensive teams in the league. So if there is a team that's able to withstand it, it will be them. Easily the most exciting game of the day so far, ending 1-1 at the half. Anyone's game so far, we'll see who takes it. James Madison is pushed up. Saginaw Valley is camped on the back line. Few teams in the league are as good at throwing at a team in transition as Saginaw Valley. They're very good at hitting a player right as he throws or right after the release. Like I said, Saginaw Valley, very good at the transition. Something's happening. A ball has almost hit me. Two balls went whizzing by my face. The joys of commentating. It was probably ill-advised to come down here. But for all of you at home, it will give you a much more entertaining view of what's going on. Good block by Saginaw Valley. Saginaw Valley falls back. James Madison pushes the advantage. An excellent block. Based off the applause, it seems safe to say that something good happened for James Madison. Nice cross shot. They throw. As a frame of reference for the viewers at home, we are about three feet from the back line in a position with several James Madison players in front of us. Saginaw Valley is on the attack line, pressing the advantage. James Madison makes a catch. Saginaw Valley chooses to fall back, forcing James Madison to push up. Saginaw Valley pushed up to the front. James Madison in a rare defensive position, much more accustomed to being on the attack. A wall has fallen on me. 
The wall has fallen on my head while announcing, making it a much more entertaining game. I do hope that someone will help me with this wall soon. Thank you. Thank you. The announcer has now been hit by a ball that was intended to strike James Madison. Providing now probably the closest, closest view of the court you're going to get. I would say that this footage is, oh, almost, almost an excellent catch, but instead it was just him getting hit in the chest. Balls everywhere. It is mayhem. Pandemonium erupts on the court. Saginaw Valley runs forward. It looks like they're debating who to throw, who to throw. All you can see is James Madison's butts, but that is what it is. Saginaw Valley falls back. James Madison pushes the advantage. Saginaw Valley has ball superiority. Numbers are roughly equal. This has turned into a very fast-paced game. Lots of transition play. One team throws, they fall back, the other team advances and throws. There is no sitting. Back on the back line right now. Both teams have committed to finishing the other. Saginaw Valley doing an excellent job of keeping James Madison from having the advantage of the wall. While they stay pushed up like this, it is very hard to get the rebounds off the wall. Plenty of action right now. A little drama to get the ball. James Madison emerges victorious on that little mini game. Saginaw Valley falls back into its traditional defensive posture. With the corners stacked and catchers in the middle. Ironically, as I stated, catchers in the middle, a catcher was hit without catching. Both teams are eyeing each other, looking for weaknesses. Excellent dodge by James Madison. Nice casual block over here. Just kind of said, get that weak throw away from me. That's silly. Saginaw Valley pushing up. The ball goes right over my head again. And now it's in his hands. Both teams are on the back lines. Yeah, now James Madison's coming up now. It's very hard to have a dodgeball team with both teams on the back line. Excellent block by Saginaw Valley. Excellent block again. This time James Madison. Oh! An absolutely sick catch. Right on the hip. I feel it's safe to say that his hips don't lie. It appears that the momentum has swung in favor of James Madison, at least for the moment with that absolutely awesome catch. I'm not saying I'm jealous of it, but I am in fact jealous of it. Saginaw Valley is on the defensive now. Springs forward, catch for Saginaw Valley. I'm not sure if Saginaw Valley player had cerebral palsy for a moment, or if it was just a very elaborate juke out. Exciting game so far. Two teams enter, one team leaves. Two teams enter. Ohio State, yeah. No bias towards the state of Ohio coming from the announcer. The great state of Ohio. The 
timeout called. Both teams are enjoying a little breather. Resume play. Referee Jason Hallman asks Saginaw Valley if they're ready. James Madison is ready. Dodgeball. Both teams walk slowly up their lines. Saginaw Valley pushing forward fast. Throws. Ball back. Another ball ends up under the announcer's chair. Saginaw Valley and James Madison just in a bloodbath. It's pandemonium. Throw appears to have hit the ground before it made contact with James Madison. make the catch. Team catch. Excellent teamwork. Tag on Saginaw Valley. James Madison is now down to a 10 count. I take that back. They're at six players. They're one player away from a 10 count. A catch here would be critical. An excellent dodge. Avoiding the 10 count. Saginaw Valley playing very aggressive. They want their point. It is 9 to 6. It is still anyone's game. One catch would completely swing the momentum. Probably not where he planned for that throw to go. Madison on the back line. Saginaw Valley throws, falls back. James Madison presses the advantage. Saginaw Valley juking out again. The ball has flown into another court. It will inevitably make its way back. Excellent block by Saginaw Valley and by James Madison. That looked to me like it hit the court first. We'll see what the ref is. Guess that ball is in. It appears that the ruling from the official was that the ball was not a catch. Tags for Sag a tag and a catch for Saginaw Valley. One tag for James Madison. James Madison is now down to four players. They are on the 10 count. Saginaw Valley pushes forward fast. Catch! Excellent catch by James Madison. One part look, one part skill. Same end result. Catch! My lord, clutch catching has swung the tide. Three catches in roughly a minute, a six player swing. Where once James Madison was down to four players and things looked bleak, Saginaw Valley is now the team down to four players. Timeout called, Saginaw. The timeout will be coming to a short end. Referee Jason Holman approaches James Madison. Appears to be giving them instructions or just asking if they're ready. 
He seems satisfied with his answer. James Madison is looking very excited. In the matter of a minute, they went from being down four players to four players, facing roughly seven Saginaw Valley players, seven or eight, can't tell, to Saginaw Valley being down to five. Saginaw Valley now on the 10 count. Proof that the adage, catching wins games. Although, face shots wins games is a much more interesting one. Another tag for, Saginaw, or for James Madison. Not looking good for Saginaw Valley on this point. An unenviable position having less players than James Madison and being on the wall. Excellent tag in the back corner. The fans are off their seats. They appear to have strong opinions. Very strong opinions. James Madison appears to agree with the other fans. It appears that it was ruled that it hit a ball. Hard to tell from this angle. Those are actually two of the better refs. There are way worse ones to have. That's actually two of the better refs. There are way worse ones to have. I'm not, a, I'm not that excited. I just, I'm exhausted, man. Well, no, I was going to say, like, Ziggy and Carlson is a horrible combo. Why not? The only reason why Ziggy can irritate me is just because he can be like really authoritative. Sometimes refs are like, hey, man, oh, I'm bullshit. sorry, but you gotta sit down. Like, they're like, alright, I can pull off with that. But if you like kissing my face, I'm like, no! Stop it! I've never heard anyone call Ziggy authoritative. Really? Maybe I've known him too long. I think it's, I think it's maybe it's too normal, really. Instead of commentating, we have digressed into a conversation about whether or not Ziggy is a authoritative ref. I personally think he's too friendly and hard to hear. But that is the beautiful of America. Everyone gets their own opinions. All right, so now they have... Carlton, of course, being incompetent in all things, is why we had to throw him under the bus. And Zygmunt's own school, DePaul, has a popular saying for how they feel about him. Said in love, of course. But I will not repeat it on camera because this is meant for children. James Madison pushes forward, falls back. Saginaw Valley is on the 10 count. James Madison looking for the nail in the coffin catch. Excellent dodge. Saginaw Valley pushes forward. Still at four players for Saginaw Valley. Three in the corner, one in the opposite corner. James Madison has a large numeric advantage. Saginaw Valley down to three players. As always, James Madison brings a fan base with them. With probably the best poll for attendance in terms of fans. They get better attendance at away games than most teams get at home games. Mind-blowing, really. Saginaw Valley looking for a miracle in this point. Still ten and a half minutes left to play in the half. Plenty of time for Saginaw Valley to take a point and force overtime.
Excellent catch by Saginaw Valley. Three players in now, including, it appears, Captain Max Siller. Hard to see on the phone. Hard to see when you're blind. Excellent dodges. Saginaw Valley trying to pull this one out. James Madison is also on a 10 count. James Madison and Saginaw Valley are both down. Below five players, three against four. A huge catch. Anyone's point. Excellent tag for Saginaw Valley. Followed up by an excellent tag for James Madison. Three against three. An excellent game. Ball's over for Saginaw Valley. What they choose to do here could be crucial. A catch for James Madison will swing it to four to two, whereas potentially getting one to two tags right now could seal the fate of this point. Two of the top five teams in the country playing right now. James Madison with a player in each corner and one in the center gets ready to find out how Saginaw Valley is going to choose to conduct this attack. Saginaw Valley having 10 balls and now has more balls than they physically can carry with them. The smart move would probably be for all three to pick one player and aim at them at once and try to take them out one at a time as every player on James Madison has shown in this game that they are in fact able to make ridiculous catches. Saginaw Valley apparently has eight seconds on a 10 second shot clock. This will be difficult for them to pull off. break is, in fact, taking a very long time. My hand is twitching. The suspense is killing me. As we were stated before, joined by half of Central Michigan's team in commentary, they are very interested in the outcome of this match. They have already won their game, I have been informed. Never mind, their game is still going, they just call their own, they call their victory. A bold move, Cotton, we'll see if it pays off. All right. Now that I have co-commentators, this might actually be more than just me making jokes at myself. Which can't be any worse than what they have been. In case you couldn't hear that on the recording, that was Central Michigan on record stating they want Saginaw Valley to win. Oh, this is awkward. Now getting the stink eye from the James Madison fans. The game starts back again. They successfully get the ball off in time. They had an eight second shot clock. Out. 
he is in fact out of bounds. The question is, will they... This appears to have been a highly unpopular call. Central Michigan quite adamant in Saginaw Valley's case. I was not actually paying much attention. I was cracking jokes. Two verse two. Oh, never mind, three verse two. Somewhat surprised that Saginaw Valley is not trying to use more team throws. Excellent cover. James Madison was getting ready to unload on Saginaw. Excellent dodge. I'm not sure. I got him laying out of ground. I have him laying out of bounds, but I didn't see the catch itself. Which one? No idea. Three versus one. It appears that one of Saginaw's players has stepped out of bounds or was tagged. No one appears to be entirely sure, but... Detention. Team throw by James Madison. Saginaw Valley survives. Picks up a second ball. Pushes forward. James Madison trying to finish this game now. They have one catch! James Madison catch. Close game. James Madison pulls the V.